the growth formula. Before I share the growth formula, I have a question for you guys. Can you explain to me how, with all the information out there around scaling a business, how are people still struggling to experience their first win or simply, or simply start earning millions of dollars every single year? Just put the answer in the chat. I'll look at the chats real quick. I just want some, give me your ideas. Give me your best ideas. Product market fit. Okay. Product market fit could be it. Too much information, limiting beliefs, analysis, paralysis, uh, lack of application. Nice. Urgency and actions, competition, more than addictions. For sure, there's a lot of them. People get stuck on mental masturbation, don't take action. Love it. Lack of focus, not knowing how to deliver it is the answer. Okay. Interesting. Wrong business model, not being a seven figure leverage consultant, failure to take action. Black team resources, pretty girls. Yeah, I, I could agree to that. <laughs> um, what they said. Okay, perfect. Let me show you. Let me walk you guys through it. I've spent the last decade trying to figure out, to find a simple framework to explain why it's so hard for most people to become successful. At first, we think that it's, you know, at, at first we think that information is what will make us successful. Therefore, we keep investing our money but most importantly, our attention in learning new stuff, right? How many people here spend all day long on YouTube and just learning everything from Hormozy, from me, from literally every day? You're probably smarter than us, but you still can't make a million uh, to save your own life, right? I believe that based on the, new, the state of entrepreneurship today, the failure rate is even higher today due to how many entrepreneurs are being created by every day by Iman Ghazi, right? So every event he makes, it probably throws like thousands and thousands of <laughs> agencies um, in the mix. And most of them are, you know, all they do is just look at his reels with his cigars with 15 girls. And they're like, oh, my God, I want to be like Iman. And then they still want to start a business. <laughs> I'm like, that's not how you should start a business. You should not look at someone's lifestyle and be like, oh, wow, this is this is why I should start an agency. Right. Luckily, I'm coming to save everyone, thank God, because I've found the formula to creating success consistently, right? And when I say I'm coming to save everyone, I literally, I generally mean it, okay? Um, in the same week, so I heard two great thinkers. It was like two weeks ago, I, had, I, heard, I heard these two great thinkers share something that is super important, and it led me to creating a formula around growth, right? The first guy was Alex Ramosi. Uh, some of you guys may know him, founder of acquisition.com. Uh, I think his portfolio is now doing at least at least 200 million a year. So he has a bunch of companies that he's partnered up. He has equity in, and they're making you know good millions. You know, 20 mil, a, uh, 15 mil a month is is not bad, right? Um, Adam Robinson, author, educator, entrepreneur, hedge fund advisor. If you guys don't know this guy, I highly suggest you guys uh, take a listen. Um, you can find him on the podcast called Knowledge Project, right? I'll just plug this podcast because it, it was something that you know it, it helps me think it helps me improve my decision making okay now what is the growth formula here it is growth only comes from two variables the rate of learning and the rate of change okay and please keep this like take a moment to stop and you know, understand this because once you understand this you want to make 10 million a year, you want to make 100 million a year, you want to make 500 grand a year, that's going to become a choice. But until you understand these two variables, you're not going to make it inevitable for you not to win. Okay. So here are the definitions. Rate of learning is really simple. It's simply how much quality information are you taking in and how fast is that is that cycle, right? So it's like, how fast are you learning? So how, how fast are you going through iterations of learning? And how fast, you know, like essentially like, yeah, what is the cycle? And then rate of change is how fast do you start a new behavior or activity as soon as you get new data, new information and inputs. Okay. Let me use this graph to try to kind of like explain it. Most people, this is what happens. When most people are trying to grow their business, this is what happens. They stay on this rate of learning. Their rate of learning is super high. They're learning how to make 10K per month and then they figure it out. Then they learn how to make 100 grand a month. Then they figure it out. 
They learn how to make 500K a month. Then they figure out, like, if you were to ask me, like, how do I make 5 mil a month? I could literally show you a breakdown of how to make 5 million a month. Like, the level at which I'm in business is not really equal to the rate of learning. Like, I know a lot more than I'm making today, right? And funny enough, it's the same thing that keeps us all stuck. It's this line here, the rate of change. Even if you know how to make 500K a month, you're not going to make 500K a month. It is impossible until you behave as someone who makes 500K per month. So a lot of you guys spend a lot of time here. But when it comes to changing, you guys are still behaving like someone who makes 10K per month. And you guys wonder, oh, why am I still stuck? Well, because you're not behaving like the person who makes 100 grand a month. You're not behaving like someone who has 500 grand a month business, right? Everyone has their whole focus on the wrong thing, which is the rate of learning. Not understanding that only great outcome that comes from having a lot of knowledge is the following. Okay, so check this out. <laughs> For everyone who keeps learning stuff, this is what you end up like. You end up like a teacher teaching in class. I'm not saying that teaching in class is bad, but this guy, although he has like algorithmic stuff in behind him, if you asked him to actually how to implement this in the real world, he probably wouldn't know how because he spent a decade learning stuff. This guy too, he's happy he's teaching people, changing society, right? But if you want to create wealth, it's not just about learning. It's about rate of change, right? So if you, you know, if you, your goal is to create um, wealth, focus on the rate of rate of change, okay? It's the only variable that really matters. Action and new behaviors is what turns you into a natural born leader. With one simple action, you can hire all the experts you need. So the quantity of information isn't as important as the quality and the leverage it provides you. So most of you guys are learning, how do I do this? How is not important, right? You need leverage even on the information that you, 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 you consume. So as an example, you can either go 15 years of school to get a doctoral degree, or you can learn how to build or own a school or a hospital and leverage skills like raising capital, hiring frameworks, how to create a brand. And you can, you can own doctors, or you can be, spend 15 years to, to become a doctor. It's, it's one of these actions provides you with infinitely more leverage than the other path, okay? The same formula also applies for, uh, to, to also define intelligence. When Hermosa used this formula, he was uh, trying to explain like, hey, how do you actually define intelligence? Someone who is smart does the following. They acquire knowledge and skills faster than anyone else, and they change their behavior fa even faster. So meaning if I'm sitting here, when I was sitting here, in the, when I was sitting in the basement, right? Let me try to show you. When I was here, the reason why I, I went from this to now just doing the same thing, but in a penthouse is because when I got the information, I did not just sit there and be like, and start making YouTube videos around, hey guys, so this is how you should do this. No, I was actively running the experiments in real life. But most people are still stuck here in this phase and it, it, it pisses me off. So that's why I kind of like wanted to make sure, make sure you guys understand this. If at the end of this webby, you don't change your actions, ask yourself, am I a little dumb? Because if you don't change and you know better, what are you doing, right? But here is what's even more important. Now that you guys know the rate, what, what creates success, these two variables, then this is what happens, okay? Understanding what makes it unreasonable for someone not to be successful, it provides you, it provides a seven-figure leverage consultant or any service provider out there who follows our frameworks around creator, creating um, our offers with a great sales angle. You don't just provide someone with the insights they need, but you build them the infrastructure that systematically changes their behavior. Okay? Let me repeat this. This means that with this new variable, this growth formula, what you can do is you can go to the marketplace, okay? Communicate the same formula around growth and tell them, hey, to change, to grow, you need two things. You need to be learning good things, learning it faster than anybody else. But also, you need to be changing your behavior. 
by the way, if you work with me, I'm going to solve this, but I'm going to solve this even better for you. When you work with us, your rate of learning goes high through the roof. But most importantly, the rate of change, we take care of it for you. So now when you go to a prospect, you can literally tell a prospect, hey, you know, why are you, why you want to go to, let's say, I don't know, 250K a month? Well, why aren't you already there? And then when they try to be like, oh, but no, I don't know. No, you'd be like, hey, you, you know what you need to do, but your behaviors aren't aligned with the goal. So hire me and let me change everything for you. So now if someone believes or, you know, if anyone on this call, let's say, if you're someone who believes that the growth comes from new insights and new behavior, but you're stuck at 10K per month and I offer you the following, 100K a month data, insights, and knowledge, and the infrastructure, meaning the talent, the people, the systems, the softwares that will systematically create the new behaviors and activities to get to 100K a month, would you, why would you say no to that? If you believe in this thesis around growth, then you automatically buy the service because you know that like, hey, you're stuck at 10K per month. Something has to change, right? This is the same sales angle that has allowed me and will keep allowing me to make millions of dollars in the future. Client acquisition that I provide solutions to the two variables that create success. While everyone is stuck overwhelming you with new information, we simplify the knowledge and build the infrastructures that make it unreasonable for you not to grow.